Hello and welcome to the Gannon family. My name is Megan Loibel and I coordinate business operations in the Office of Residence Life. Today I'm gonna to go over the incoming student housing application process, but don't worry, you'll get this information again at open house and orientation. You can always refer back to this video and you can always contact us if you have any further questions. It is important to know that Gannon has a two-year residency requirement. This means that all incoming first-year students whose legal guardian does not live year-round within 25 miles of Gannon must live in university-owned housing their first two academic years. Students who do live within this commuting radius are still welcome to live on campus, and many students choose to continue living on campus through their senior year and graduate schooling at Gannon. I'll start us off with a brief overview of the housing application process, explain these steps further, and show you our websites where you can find more information later. The first thing you'll want to do is apply and be accepted to Gannon University. If you've already accomplished this, congratulations. Next, submit your deposit to admissions, confirming you are going to be a knight. Soon after you've deposited, you will be sent your network ID and login information from the My Gannon portal from your enrollment advisor. The My Gannon portal has many resources for you, including the My Housing application, which I'll show you soon. Before beginning the My Housing application, you'll want to have an idea of where on campus you'd like to live. I'll show you where to find details about all our properties shortly. It is important to note that there is no one better residence hall than another. It is up to you to decide what amenities, locations, and number of roommates works best for you, and to make your preference listings that way. I'll also show you where you can get information about our meal plans. All first-year residents are required to have a meal plan to engage in community and get acclimated to Gannon, but we also offer plans for upperclassmen residents and commuter students. Within the My Housing application, you'll be able to form groups with other incoming students and request to live with one another. You'll be able to change your roommate preferences online as frequently as you'd like up until assignments are made, but all other preferences of housing assignment or meal plan must be made by emailing our office. During the summer before your arrival, we'll make room assignments, with the first big group of assignments occurring in the weeks surrounding Memorial Day. Placements will continue in waves throughout the rest of the summer. You can check your housing placement and roommates on the My Housing portal at any point. After placements are made, you can request any changes of room style or roommate by emailing us. Before you know it, we'll be welcoming you to campus for move-in. Before you begin your housing application, it is important to know your options. Please visit our website to find the most up-to-date information about housing and meal plan options and costs. No one selection is better than another. It all depends on what you're looking for in your college experience. So read up and ask questions if you need help. When you are ready to apply for housing, log into the MyGannon portal. Your network ID and temporary password will be given to you by your enrollment advisor. The My Housing application is located in the middle of the page if you scroll down. You can see there are many things to do on MyGannon and you will use it frequently as a student. The My Housing application will open to a page like this. Please click on the Academic Year Housing Application tab to begin. Next, you'll select the term you are applying for. This banner will turn green once you have completed all steps of the housing application process. Now I'll describe the information you'll need as you progress in your application, and I'll show you some of the pages in depth shortly. The welcome page describes the application you are filling out. Personal and contact details ask for your student information regarding your application. Missing persons information refers to you as the student if you are ever involved in an emergency situation. Emergency contact information refers to your guardian who you would want us to contact in case of an emergency. The meningitis immunization page asks if you have received the meningitis shot or not. If you have, please provide the date or an approximate day within the month and year you know when you received that shot. Meningitis immunization is not required to attend Gannon or live on campus, but we need to know if you've received it or not. Affinity Housing is a separate application for students to request to live in specified theme communities with other students interested in that learning area. Availability changes each year, so please follow the instructions on this page to review information and apply if you're interested. Bedding and Room Supplies links you to our partner store, OCM, where you can browse and purchase items for your new college room. This is entirely optional, but check out their great offerings. A portion of all purchases comes back to the Residence Hall Association program funding. Meal plan selection is where you choose your meal plan for both semesters of the academic year. More on that in a moment. The contract page is where you read, sign, and print the terms of the housing agreement. We'll cover that in detail as well. 
Profile questions ask you questions about you, the student, to help match you with other students. This step is required, even if you know who you would like to live with. Here is the meal plan page I briefly just mentioned. First year residents are required to select a meal plan. Upperclassmen residents and first year commuters are not required to have meal plans, but they are still available. This part of the application links back to our website page with meal plan information. As you can see here, the fall and spring semesters have been selected. Originally, they would have had arrows to a drop down to make your selection. Once you complete this page, you can no longer make changes yourself. You may email Residence Life at any point until the start of the semester to change your meal plan. After the first week of classes have concluded, no meal plan changes can be made. Next is the contract page, where you can see the full terms of the legally binding document you are signing for the academic year. Please write your full name in the box below the contract to electronically sign. You may also print this page for your records. You'll see up top in the tracker, once we finish the profile questions, we have just a few more pages left. One of the most important ones is this one, the roommate groups page. It is important to know that you must fully fill out this page for any roommate requests you have, even if you have found each other and confirmed in another software. Our application is not connected to third-party sources and will not recognize your request unless you submit it through our application on this page. If you are trying to join an already established group, click Join Group on the right-hand side. Your group leader should have shared a group name and password with you for you to enter the request to be added to their group. Your group leader will get a notification with your request to join that they will need to approve. If you are going to be your group's leader and create a group, click Create Group on the left. Once you have named your group and created a password, you can add group members using the search options on the right-hand side. Search for roommates by details allows you to search for a specific roommate's name. Search for roommates by profiles allows you to search for people who answered a particular profile question in a certain way. For example, those who go to bed before 10 p.m. Suggest Roommates tells our software to compile all of your profile questions and find potential roommates who answered most similarly to you across all of those questions. Or share your group name and password for others to log in and join. No matter what route you take as a group leader, you will need to invite these members to your group and they will get a notification asking them to accept their invitation. Once all roommate requests are added, all group leaders must click Verify Group to tell the software your group is ready to be placed. You can log in and make changes as often as you'd like until placements are made in late May or early June. However, any changes made after this point will require the group to be re-verified. Only verified groups will be assigned to housing during our placement process. Next, on the Room Preferences page, you'll be able to tell our software your preferences for housing. You can only select each option one time, and you cannot change your preferences online after submitting. If you would like to make a changes to your housing preferences after submitting your application, email Residence Life and we'll make that change for you. For your first preference, select the building in the Location dropdown, Finnegan or North Hall. Then, select the room style in the Room Preferences dropdown. If you selected Finnegan Hall, you will only see one option for a double room. This is because all of Finnegan's rooms are the same shared style. If you selected North Hall, you will see a variety of styles for two, three, four, and five person suites. It is very important to be aware of the North Hall suite layouts. The two and four person suites are made up of all single bedrooms. The three and five person suites are made up of a combination of one or two doubles that are shared bedrooms, and just one single bedroom. So the three person unit has one double bedroom and one single bedroom, and the five person unit has two double bedrooms and one single bedroom. Click add preference after each selection you make. Four preferences are required to continue. Roommate groups need to communicate about who will be in which type of bedroom within the suite. Please note that any empty beds left after a group is placed in Finnegan or North will be assigned to other incoming students. We can always make changes for you within your suite after placements are made by emailing Residence Life. The confirmation page will tell you that you have completed your housing application and explains that students will be assigned to rooms during the summer. Finally, the application status page will show your building and room number assignment as well as assigned roommates once placements have been made. Outside of our application, we also want to share our recommended packing list. This will be provided at your orientation or open house. As a reminder, you can purchase many of these supplies on the OCM website linked in our application. Please note that all our mattresses across campus are twin extra long, XL. 
Additionally, toilet paper and shower curtains are provided in Finnegan Hall only, where there are restrooms shared by each wing. North Hall residents are required to provide their own toilet paper and shower curtains and are responsible for cleaning their own bathrooms. Thank you for joining me for an overview of the housing application process for incoming students. In addition to the valuable information we shared on our website in this presentation, we also encourage you to go to the Accepted Students Resource Hub and view our video called Living on Campus, Life as a Resident under the Basic Needs for Gannon Knights section. We can't wait to welcome you to campus. Go Knights!